So why was I running? And why did I leave a package on a seemingly random person's doorstep? It all started last night when I was checking one of my blogs. I'm quite the avid blogger. I currently manage over nine blogs, including two of which I develop my own languages for. I also have over 2,693 online friends. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Patrick, you pretty much have everything in the world that you could ever want. And I do have everything I want, except for one thing, Marie Waterford. Who is Marie Waterford? Well, she's only the prettiest girl ever known to mankind. And trust me, I've tried everything. I've tried emailing her, commenting on her message board. One time I even called her. Hello? Anyways, last night as I was doing some blog research, my worst nightmare came true. I found out that Marie Waterford was in love with Stephen Pollock. And I don't even see what she sees in him. Can Steve format an external hard drive? No. Does Steve have over four gigs RAM? No. Steve doesn't even know how to read HTML. So what is it that she loves about Stephen Pollock? And the conclusion I came to was apparently she loves guys who kill animals and takes pictures of them. See, this whole time I was going about this all wrong and it was time for a fresh approach. If Marie likes a guy that kills animals and takes pictures of them, then she'll love a guy who kills animals and takes video of them. So that's where I got the idea for To Kill For, an animal killing documentary. But first I needed a firearm. Michelle. Where does dad keep the gun? What do you need a gun for? It's none of your business. Look, Michelle, I know you want to come with me, but you're just not going to go, okay? Why not? It sounds like fun. No. It's not fun. This has nothing to do with fun. It has everything to do with me proving that I'm a man. We can take my car. Uh, huh. It turns out I was a natural with a gun. So I began my career as a cold-blooded killer. Right now we're going out into the woods. Look for some animals. The plan is to wait here for animals, and when they come, I'm going to kill them. If there aren't any animals yet. Um, we've been waiting for them, but they haven't been coming out. Uh, I don't think it's quite animal season yet. We hunted for six straight hours. And just whenever I thought the day was a complete waste of time, I got my first kill. So when we hit Snickers, my next door neighbor's cat, we were both really sad. But I figured I'd make the most of the opportunity. I mean, a dead animal is a dead animal, right? So I scooped it up in the bag and took it to her house along with the documentary. I poured my heart and soul into that documentary. I've gone to all lengths to show this girl how much I love her. There's nothing more I can do. And the thing I learned, sometimes you have to be willing to fight for the ones you love. And sometimes you have to be willing to kill for them. Here's a song for the love.